Hello and welcome to the School Business Services mini webinar. Today we will be looking at the end of year procedures. What are the end of year procedures? They are a series of steps needing to be completed before the academic year finishes so that when Sims rolls over into the next academic year, everything is in place. Things that need to be completed are setting up the academic year, its term dates, amending the pastoral structure for any changes where needed, running the promotion to promote your students into next academic year, ensuring the leavers are marked as having left the school, and ensuring that Sims has the admission groups in place for your new arrivals to be placed in ready for next year. We already have made a video on how to set up admission groups, which can be found on our website. To set up the academic year, you will have to go into routines, school, and academic year. This will be the first step that we will need to do in order for us to carry out our other steps. Personally, before going ahead and creating the academic year, I think it is worth to check whether an academic year has already been created by another member of staff. To do so, go into routines, school and edit academic year. And check whether you can select the next year from the drop down menu. If this is the case, as you can see here, then you can make changes to the academic year if necessary. For demonstration purposes, I will carry on here, but the wizard we are going through here is the same as you would when creating an academic year from scratch. We will be able to click next to define our working week. As we are in edit academic year, we cannot make changes here. This is the only part of the process we cannot update after having saved, so be extra careful that you have the correct days selected. By default, it assumes a Monday to Friday working week. We're going to click on next. This is where we define our term dates for the academic year. We will click on the add term button and we'll select our term dates, uh, term holiday and the actual term itself. And once we have selected our dates, we click on OK. And we do this until we have covered our academic year. We then click on next. This is where we can then define our half term holidays. We click on the add holiday button, select the category, dates and enter a description and then click on OK. And we do this until we have entered all of our half term dates. We then click on next. This is where we can enter our teacher training days or inset days. We click on the add button, select the category, enter dates and enter description and click on OK. And we do this until we've covered all of our staff training days. We then click on next. This is where we can define our public holidays. Generally speaking, we only have to worry about the bank holiday in May, as this is the only day that falls outside of half term dates. Click on the add holiday button, fill in the fields as we've done in the previous screens and click OK. And then once we're ready, we click on next. This is the final screen where you can review the details you've entered. And if you're happy with them, you can click on create. As we are in edit academic year, it instead says update. Keep in mind that the data you've entered can be amended at any point. So if inset dates change, for example, you can go back in edit academic year and amend those dates. The creation will take a bit of time. So please be patient while Sims is creating the academic year.